This is Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 7. You shall not abhor an Edomite for he is your brother. You shall not abhor an Egyptian because you were a sojourner in his land. Now, abhor means hate or, or dislike, right? I'm going to show you all something. Because this has been busting all the Israelites' heads. And you all know I got the big book. So let me break it down with the big book. So this is Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 7, right? It says, Never as long as you live shall you seek their welfare or prosperity. You are not to regard the Edomite as detestable, for he is your brother, nor the Egyptian because you were a stranger in his land. The third generation of children born to these may be admitted to the assembly of Yahweh. Now, I don't know if y'all see a little letter right there. I'm going to blow it up for y'all. Right next to the word Edomite, it says C. C. <laughs> Let's see what C says. Expressing a friendliness not witnessed elsewhere in the Bible. What did it just say? It just said, this is the only place in the whole Bible where you can find us saying, don't hate an Edomite. Let's see what else it says. There is no sign of it after the capture of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar, supported by the Edomites. You know, the Caucasians? Yeah, you know. And Psalms 137 verse 7. Let's go read that. Let's go see it. So this is Psalms 137 verse 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundations thereof. Destroy it, destroy it. Let's get out of the big book, though. Psalms 137, verse 7 from the big book. Yahweh, remember what the sons of Edom did on the day of Jerusalem. How they said, down with her, raise her to the ground. You see that letter right next to the Jerusalem, right there? D. The ninth day of the fourth month, June to July, 587, when the Chaldeans breached the walls of Jerusalem, Jeremiah 39 and 2, Jeremiah 52 and 7, or else the tenth day of the fifth month, when the temple was burnt down, Jeremiah 52 and 13, Zechariah 7 and 5, Zechariah 8 and 19. The Edomites, white people, Numbers chapter 20 and 23, then joined forces with the besieging army. A number of prophetic oracles invokes the vengeance of Yahweh on them. Jeremiah 49 verses 17, Isaiah 34 verses 5, Micah 1 and 3, Joel 4 and 19. Edomites are the enemies now. Sorry. I know a lot of y'all didn't want to hear that, but they are.